Hey YouTube, welcome to a video that I've been extremely excited to make. Today we will be opening the second Breakthrough Booster Box on this channel. This is actually my first Breakthrough Booster Box. Um, if you haven't already watched it, be sure to go ahead and check out Max's Booster Box. He got some incredible pulls. I've watched a lot of Booster Box openings for this set, and his has been the best. And that's not even me being biased. I believe he pulled 10 ultra rares, including break cards. Um, so be sure to check that out. I'll probably have an annotation right here. So you can go ahead and click that. Um, but enough about Max. Let's go ahead and get to my booster box opening. Which, like I said, I've been thrilled. Very anxious to open this. Um, typically the mail does not get here until about 3.30 and today the mailman decided to troll me a little bit um, the mail came at about 1.15 but this box was not with it and I saw that it was out for delivery so when that happened I was a little bit um, concerned that maybe it had been placed in a different mailbox or would be uh, delivered tomorrow so I called the, new the, uh, the newspaper yeah, that'd be a uh, good news story. I called the post office and asked them what was going on. Um, and they said that he doesn't like to carry boxes, um, you know, around while he does his thing. So about 30 minutes later, he came back and the box was there. So it came actually early after he decided to play a prank on me. So we'll go ahead and get one of each pack art out here so I can show them all off. Um, these are not the first breakthrough packs that I've opened but they are the very first um, in this box. So we have the Mega Hound Doom, the Zoroark Break, and the two Mega Mewtwo's. Uh, the cards I want most from the set would definitely be any of the full art Mewtwo's. There are 10 Mewtwo's in this set, so that's um, something to get excited about. Now I'm going to try to keep these even. I want to make sure i to do the same amount on each part. This will be a two-parter, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So we'll go ahead and do the left side first here. Um, like I said, there are 10 Mewtwo's in this set, and I honestly want them all. <laughs> um, so we'll go ahead and get started, because I'm very anxious to see what I can get. The code cards are backwards. Um, I'm not going to be giving these away because they are the first code cards in the set that I'll be opening. But stay tuned for future videos where we will be giving away a lot. Um, we're planning a lot for you guys. We really just appreciate everybody that subscribed and you know interacted with us. It's made this you know video, this channel, a lot more fun for us. All right, so starting off, we have a fisherman. A heavy boots. This is a very interesting trainer card. Um, it is a tool. It's a Pokemon tool. I'm not sure how much use it'll get, but if the retreat cost is more than three for the Pokemon, it gets 20 more hit points and can't be confused. I thought that was kind of cool. Very nice looking Sand Slash. We commented on this in our premium box opening. I still love that card. We have a Rimmeraid. The uh, McDonald's loving Hoot Hoot here. <laughs> very cute looking Pikachu. The other Remoraid, there are two Remoraids in this set. And Axew, first reverse hollow in this booster box is this very nice looking Wobbuffet. Love the color of that card. And the first rare, Mega Houndoom EX. We are off to a great start here. I need to go ahead and sleeve this up, but man, I honestly, this is one of the Megas that I like the most. Houndoom, I think everybody can agree, is awesome. So that is a fantastic way to start this opening with a Mega Houndoom EX. And we'll be putting our Ultra Rares right here in the Pokeball, if I can get them to stay up. There. All right. So that is a fantastic way to start this video with a Mega Houndoom. Moving on to a Mega Houndoom pack. It's nice because I did open a Red Flash Japanese booster box. 
that was probably the most fun, honestly, I've had in a booster box opening. Um, you know, there's just, I don't know, there's less booster packs, you get less cards total, but, you know, it's a 50-50 shot of getting a hollow or an ultra rare. We have a Haunter, a very cool looking Haunter. I love this Ghastly Haunter Gengar set in this, um, in this set. Glalie Spirit Link, very cool Cacturn. Chespin, can we go three for three on the Chespins today? That's what I want. Doduo, Finnegan. We have a Zorua. The one, the other Zorua is very cute. This one looks a little more uh, sinister, I guess. A Flababy. A Vanillite is our reverse hollow, and the rare is a Hawlucha, non-hollow. That's okay, we got plenty of packs to go, and Hawlucha is a very cool Pokemon, so. Moving on, I am trying to keep these a little organized, so we can go through everything at the end of this half. I'd say part two will be a little bit um, of a quicker video. You know, I'm gonna take my time with this half especially because a lot of these cards I haven't seen before. Um, and I want to enjoy this opening. I've been excited about it for a long time now, so we have a heavy ball Very cool looking Snorlax. I love this card and being an uncommon. It's really cool a Stunfisk a Swablu Flybaby an Axew Very fall looking Scatterbug Teddy Ursa reverse hollow is a Mammoth Swine. This is typically a um a hollow foil card, so reverse hollow mammoth swine and the rare. Oh, yes, it is the hollow foil Gengar. This is one of the hollows I wanted the most. I love the way this card looks. Um, I'm not sure about it, you know, its usefulness in terms of its attacks, but I like cards that are just pretty, and this is pretty sweet. So I am thrilled with this hollow. I, I love this card. So that's a great, uh, Great way to start this opening. We've got one hollow, one regular rare, one reverse hollow rare, and a mega houndoom. Moving on, we are gonna speed up a little bit because this is taking a little bit longer um, than I'd anticipated. But like I said, stay tuned for part two as well because we'll move through them a lot quicker. All right, so we have a sand slash. Quilladin, oops, sorry guys, Professor's Letter, the Clay Snubble, I like these clay cards a lot, the Cubone is just heartbreaking, Magnemite, Pikachu, Aninke, oh, awesome, Floor just break, you know, I remember that these were in the Reverse Hollow, but it still takes you by surprise when you get it, and the Rare is an Elemental Monkey, so we'll go ahead and move that aside and take a look at this Floor just break, that is a... I'm on focus on it here. It's so uh, shiny that it's hard to focus on. Man, that is an awesome card. I'm not sure how useful these break cards are going to be, but it is still just, it is very nice to look at. So that is, a, this, this set I think is going to have a ton of potential to get some epic pulls. We plan on doing a lot with breakthroughs, so be sure to stay tuned. Subscribe to us if you're not already. Um, we're planning something pretty big that in um, the Thanksgiving, you know, week, the week of Thanksgiving. Um, we're planning something really big. We're excited about it. Hopefully, you guys will be too. Um, so be sure to subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for that. So we have a magneton, a float stone. Come on, focus a little bit better. There we go. Float stone, a fracture, a magnemite, a noibat. Ralts, Skiddo, a Mischievous, Reverse Hollow is a Quilladin, and the Rare is a Bronzong, non-hollow, but that's okay, we're, uh, we're doing quite well for ourselves. So far out of everything we've opened, um, that's probably been the worst pack, so, you know, that's saying a lot. We've had a really good streak so far with, um, you know, even when we had a non-hollow Rare, we either had a break or another rare to go with it so this set's been good to us so far let's hope that continues i'd love to get one of those secret rare mewtwo's 
Those things are gorgeous. I know people didn't like them when they first saw them um, in the Japanese sets, but I love those cards. Mewtwo is my favorite legendary. It's one of the few legendaries I can actually say I like. Reverse Ticket, Curlia, Prinplup, Swablu. That's a very... I like the colors on that card. A Snover, a Rufflet. <laughs> that Rufflet looks uh, very shocked. Scatterbug, Cacnea, Reverse Hollow is that very heartbreaking Cubone, and the rare is an Obama Snow, non hollow. Not one of my favorite Pokemon ever, but that is alright. We got plenty of packs to go here. We'll uh, put the code card aside here. Put the three uncommons in the front. And move on with a Buddy Buddy Rescue, one of my favorite cards uh, in the set, just because it's fun to say. Curlia, Giovanni Scheme. This is a very interesting trainer, a supporter card with uh, two options there. Hippopotas, that Cubone is just everywhere today. An Elgium, Pansage, the monkeys don't like them. Piplup, Reverse Hollow is a Floatstone, and the rare is a Noctowl. This is a non hollow, but I love Noctowl and I love this artwork, so. I am pleased with that card. There are a few non hollows in this set that I really like. And that is one of them. So moving on here. But yeah, like I was saying guys, we have a lot planned for the future. We're excited about this channel. We're excited about, you know, the fact that you guys are so, uh, such good fans and such good uh, supporters of us. And we, uh, we're planning something big for you guys in the Thanksgiving uh, weekend and everything. So stay tuned. Skyla, which is a reprint. Starmie. Dedene. Cyndaquil. I love that Cyndaquil. The Typhlosion is awesome too. Staryu. Doduo. Ghastly. So we've got the Ghastly Hunter Gengar line. A Woobat. Reverse Hollow is a reverse ticket. And the rare is a Marowak. And I pointed it out in another, but there is a uh, Mega Mewtwo fighting something up here, it looks like. It's a very cool card. Alright, so moving on. I think we're due now for another Ultra Rare. We had a bit of a streak there where we weren't really getting any, so I think it's I think we're due for one here. Alright, so we have a Quilava. Pincer, this pincer is so cool looking. I think it's time for the Mega Pincer. Starmie, hopefully in the next set we'll get like a Mega Pincer. Or Mega Scizor would be my favorite. Chespin, can we do three for the? No, Starly. Goldeen, the Cyndaquil. Reverse Hollow is a cool lava. Can we get a Typhlosion? The rare? It's an Eveltal Hollow. So we were about due for something that was, you know, holographic or even better. So we get something shiny here. An Eveltal Hollow. I do have this, uh, the Japanese version of this card. Um, I would really like to get the uh, Hollow Foil Xerneas. Alright, so moving right along here. Alright, so one, two, three. And we have a Vanillish. That's Snorlax, Spupa, Piplup, Chespin, Bronzor, Froakie. This Froakie is really cool. Panpour. Reverse Hollow is a Noibat. This is a different Noibat. I did not realize there were two in this set. And the rare is a Smeargle, non hollow. There are a couple rares in this set that kind of perplexed why they are rares. Um, that one, I think because of its ability, makes sense. But when you have a rare like a Chatot, that just doesn't make sense to me. Um, especially when you have other cards like, uh, or other Pokemon like Cacturn, that I think would be way more deserving of rare status than that. But I digress. Go ahead here. There's a few things I question about some of their choices, like the Elemental Monkeys instead of Kabutops, but I won't get on that soapbox. Seeking, Bridget. We have a Vanillish. That Faroki, Zorua, Chespin, Chespin, ah, uh, Rufflet. Houndoom Spirit Link is the reverse, and the rare is a Florges, non-hollow. 
We've got a bit of a streak here of non hollows We did pull that Eveltal, but I think we're due for something great. And like I said, um, it's going to be very, very tough to top Max's pulls. Not really expecting that at all. Um, all I ask for are average pulls. Um, Max has always had the better luck of the two of us, if you couldn't tell from our openings, but that's okay. We have a Grand Bull, a Pile of Swine, an Assault Vest, a Finnegan, a Magnemite, a different Magnemite, a Ralts. Ralts has been in some very dark artwork lately. Chespin, Noibat, Reverse Hollow is another Ralts. This one's not so dark, and the rare. Yes! A Mega Mewtwo EX. This is the X version. I am thrilled with that. Oh, man. So I pulled the Mega Mewtwo Y in the red flash booster box that I did. But here is an English Mega Mewtwo EX X version. Oh, man. I am thrilled with that one. Like I said, Mewtwo is one of the uh, few legendaries that I really, really like. So I am very pleased to have that. And this is a very Mewtwo centered um, series. There are 10 Mewtwo's, as I've said before. There are four Mewtwo EX cards um, that are full art and regular. Um, there's two Mewtwo EX secret rares, and then there are two Megas and two Mega full arts. So we have a Go-Go, Swoobat, Quilladin, Doduo, Ghastly, Spritzy, Cacne. I love these clay cards. We have a Snover. Reverse Hollow is a rare. It is a Gallade. This is typically a Holofoil card, and the rare is a Braviary. So, two rares in that pack, and two of my favorite rares in this set. So, that is a fantastic pack right there. So moving right along here. We have five packs left. I'll try to get through these a little quicker. I'd like to keep this under 20 minutes. Um... Took me a little bit to open up the box itself, which, you know, extended some time, so apologies there. I will do a recap at the end, just regardless of how long this video goes, just for um, the people that, you know, don't have a lot of time and want to just see what we pull. So here's a Floet, a Braxen, a Super Rod, a Paris, Swine Up, Sandshrew, very thirsty Meowth, that's the first Meowth I've got, Pancham, Reverse Hollow is a Finnegan, and the rare is a Holofoil Magnazone. So this is my first duplicate card, rare card, from this set. I did pull this card in our premium, uh, the Mega Blazik and Premium box uh, collection that we did. Um, but you know, that's a very cool card. I think it's going to be pretty useful in decks. And a ho another Hollow is always nice. So... After this, we'll have three packs left. So far, I've been very, very happy with the pull so far. Um, you know, two Megas. Typically, I tend to end up with more of the regular EXs than the Megas. So, Gramble, Behem, that's a new one, I think. Town Map, Meowth, Bronzor, Skiddo, Staryu, Paris. Oh, awesome. This is the um, break card I like the most. Uh, before I show it, we'll go ahead. The rare is a Raichu, which I think this card could have been a hollow. That is a very cool card. But this is the uh, break card I like the most. Zoroark is one of my favorite um, Pokemon, especially from the newer sets. So that is a great card right there. And we'll just add it to the uh, pile of great cards we've got so far. All right. So we have a uh, chubby hoot hoot staring us down as we get the code card here. This hoot, this hoot hoot cracks me up. All right, so this Magneton is another one of my favorites. Let me move these out of the way real quick. There we go. All right, Magneton, Floatstone, Houndoom Spirit Link, that hoot hoot, Pikachu, Remoraid, Axew, Pansir, Reverse Hollow is the another Axew, and the rare is a semi-poor. Not a fan of these monkeys. I can say it a million times, and it will still be the case. 
down to two packs in this half with a Zoroark break on the cover art. All right. So if I never saw another um, Elemental Monkey card in my life, it would still be probably too soon. All right, a Wobbuffet. Frogadier, I think that's the first Frogadier we've got. From the Legendary Shine collection, I believe. Judge reprint. Elemental Monkey. Vanillite. Elemental Monkey. Ralts. Thank goodness it's not the other Elemental Monkey. Zerua. Parallel City is the reverse. Man, this is the first Parallel City we've got. This is an awesome card. Love the artwork and getting our first one having a reverse hollow. This is almost rare quality. And the rare, oh, very nice. Not one of my favorite EXs, but still another ultra rare is excellent. It is a Glalie EX. So we'll go ahead and sleeve this uh, Jawbreaker up here. Very cool card. I mean, like I said, Glalie is not one of my favorites, and I'm kind of surprised they chose to give him an EX and Mega EX before others. But I'm not going to complain too much about another ultra rare pool. All right, last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Starting off, we have a Seeking, another Parallel City, a Fracture, Vanillite, Zorua, Skiddo, a Noibat, sorry guys, a Swinub, Reverse Hollow is a Scatterbug, and the last rare in this video is a Star Raptor, non hollow. So overall, this was a great half. Hopefully, that doesn't mean the second half will be a dud. Let me go ahead and organize these real quick. So it's looking like we got, okay, yep, we got three holofoils this time. As I just dropped one. Good thing they're in sleeves. Um, we got two breaks, one regular EX, and two mega EXs. So we did get holofoil magnazone, holofoil eveltal, as well as a holofoil gengar, which is now on the floor, but it's in a sleeve. I uh, just don't want to take the time to get it. All right, we have a Florgis Break, which is an awesome card. We have a Zoroark Break, a Glalie EX, Mega Mewtwo EX, the X version, love that card, and the Mega Houndoom EX. So stay tuned for part two of this uh, Breakthrough Booster Box, my very first Breakthrough Booster Box. Um... Be sure to like the video, comment what your favorite card in this set is, um, and stay tuned for part two. Thank you.